Make it fit. Make it work, people. So we have a situation mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my sister, if you've never met her. Um, she asked me to come help her organize her pantry. So that's what we're doing today. Mm -hmm. Why did you request my assistance? Um, it's multifold. Multiply? <laughs> the reasons are threefold. I just. <laughs> <laughs> this is not my dog. This is her, this is her dog. Ugh. Oh, you just want to. Oh, the face. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> I just moved in. Moving and unpacking is. <laughs> See how long that lasts. You just moved in unpacking. <laughs> she never does this. It's because we're talking to no one. My last home, I had like a, I don't even know how to, kind of like a closet. Thing. It's not a pantry. It was like this big. That was my kitchen pantry. And then I had a kitchen in the basement that I put all my extra stuff. And so now I have like a legit pantry. No extra kitchen. No extra kitchen. And so I just shoved it all in here. And I was like, okay, if I just put it like on, on like leg uh, shelves, it's good, right? But it's, it's a lot. It's not, it's not good. Christine's great at organizing. And if you guys haven't watched her video where she did mom's pantry. <laughs> it's the best video the nuts. ever. <laughs> the nuts. Did you know? That you have to store your nuts in the freezer or else they'll go rancid. I may have nuts in my pantry. <laughs> they're rancid! I don't know. They're rancid! <laughs> I just need help. Okay. I, I don't know. I'm here to save the day. <laughs> okay. Help me. First of all, we're not gonna con Marie this crap. It's too overwhelming. So let's talk about- Wait, the, we're not? No, we're not. Okay. It's a weird, it's a weird um, layout actually because it's so narrow here. But it's deep. But it's very, very deep. And the shelves are very, deep also but way in the back but way in the back it's not super efficient no and i have set it up terribly so it's definitely not efficient <laughs> so we're going to try and fix that so step one is we're going to take out the things that you just don't even want to keep in here any garbage any recycling you're like why am i keeping the dog food in here i don't want it in here it's going somewhere else okay step one remove the things that don't belong but where here. do i put them well we'll figure that out is this where we play the music? This is like where we play the music thing. and then figure it out. I might move the angle. You can come in now. Starting on the floor. Come on. Man, it is tight. We probably do need to take this out. We could take out the trash. It's recycling. This is recycling? This is recycling. Oh. I wouldn't put the trash in the pantry. The trash is right there. Oh. Is this where you want the dog food? Well, the bin is over there, but this is the extra dog food. Did you see that? Yeah. We can throw these away. Right, Roxy? That's my girl. Clearance. Diced tomatoes. I'm just gonna see what's in these boxes. So this looks like appliances that she can't use in a box. Oh, her son's on a feed tube, so this these might be the feeds, which we might actually put down in his room because he does it at night. Um, I think that would be a good solution. He has a really big room, plenty of room for these. These two boxes are going. These are gonna be redistributed on a shelf, these, uh, these tomatoes. And then the appliances are gonna go somewhere else also. I'm in the pantry, join me. <laughs> hey, knees hey, doing? They're all right. Is there anything else in here that you're not liking in here? I do see some bulk food. There's this huge bag of rice. You have like paper plates oh, up there. No, I don't love that. You don't love that? Mm -hmm. And then there's uh, grocery sacks here. Mm -hmm. Where would you like them to live? Not to have a bag of bags in my face. <laughs> oh, dang. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> They're convenient to have. So do you want to keep store them somewhere else? Uh, probably just under my sink is way easier. Under the sink is better? Mm -hmm. Laundry room not convenient? Laundry room's not big enough. Okay, under the sink. Okay. It's not, my laundry room's not big enough for some bags. <laughs> that must be teeny. <laughs> okay, and then what about the paper plates and, and things? I don't almost ever use them. It's just for like when your kids come over. So not that often? Not that often. <laughs> so once again- Just kidding, I love her family. No, you always come to 
like where we are usually because mom's there. Two birds. One stone. Could we reallocate those mm -hmm. also to storage? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. <laughs> Roxy, get out of my face. <laughs> what is she doing? She's like, oh, you're playing. <laughs> okay, what's great about up here is she doesn't have a ton up here other than her baking supplies, flour, sugar, things like that. And there's a ton of room behind it, which is the perfect spot for the excess that doesn't fit in these bins, which she has quite a bit of kind of right here. So we're gonna reallocate these up as overflow. So what we're doing right now is just putting like things together, which she's mostly done. Uh, we're just tweaking it a hair now that we have some room. It's more than I can fit in my drawer. It so this doesn't fit? No. <laughs> She's doing my pantry. I don't have a bag with a man on it. Wait, but there's more bags! Look, look at the bag. When did you? Oh, <gasps> Mom! That's from a long time ago. Is it though? When was the last time anybody went to Abercrombie? <laughs> Are you keeping this for personal reasons? No, not me. Let's toss that, Mom. <laughs> Stop looking at the boy, mom. I should have gotten a bag with a man. You don't have a bag with a man. Does Abercrombie still do that? I don't know, I've never shopped there. Ever, not ever? Not ever. Not even in high school? Probably because like Christine bought something in 1998 and you kept the bag from then. Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody's making a mess. Who cut this bag? <laughs> it fits. Perfect baby size. That's what she did. So I found these baskets on Amazon, these black wire baskets, and you can mount them. Washing machine. <laughs> you can mount them with drywall anchors or into a stud with screws. And I think I have one stud right here. So the question is, where are they gonna live? Like kind of here where the door is, in a little bit, up high, down low. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> Lauren, what do you think? Well, we can move this. Yeah. Do you want to move that? Yeah. This is just a command hook. I'm taking off. Who was it? Mom was like, that's cute. Take those off. What else are you doing? Get the pliers. Get the pliers. <laughs> I think that's great. And then do you want to go like boom, boom as you go down? Because I want your trash bin to still fit. Oh my God. Yeah, I like the booms. Are you doing a commercial? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Something like. Yeah. Or they can be spaced more. And then it would almost go down to the trash. Is that too annoying? No. You sure? Yeah. Because okay. then I wouldn't like be trying to pile up my recycling to un... You take it out more? Yeah. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. Okay. We're going to try and match that one. Do you need a level? You mean that level? Oh yeah. In my hand, that level? Yeah, that one. Yeah, that's drywall. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Dude. Done. <gasps> the whole thing went straight in. Shut up. I knew I didn't like those anchors. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Why does it not have a little lip? That's right. It feels like field trip time. Uh -huh. <clears throat> to get actual drywall anchors <laughs> that don't suck, Amazon. <laughs> oh, my light's not on. Okay. The day is saved. Thank you, Walmart. Okay, so we have a new apron hanger right here. I also found this cool one that holds the step stool. 
and then actual drywall anchors that don't suck. So, let's try this again. The shelves are hung and we had a little bit of an issue with one of the drywall anchors right here. The screws that came with these did not work with the other drywall anchors I had to use. So this one is very sturdy. This one's very sturdy. This one's a little less sturdy. <laughs> so I may have Dave come and rehang this one, maybe a touch higher and patch the holes. But in the meantime, we'll put lighter stuff in this top one. So Lauren did tell me that she thought these would be a great spot for snacks. She has three kids. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do now, like kind of load these up with snacks. Okay, the shelves are all loaded up and it has cleared out so much room on these shelves behind me. And now, like these are snacks up here, they don't weigh very much. We have baking right here, like brownies, cakes, uh, corn muffins, beignet mixes. And then down here is more of a breakfast baking mix. So pancake mixes, muffin mixes, that kind of thing. So Lauren can look at these shelves and say, hey, I actually have plenty of mixes. I don't need to buy anymore, which is one of my favorite things. The next thing I'm gonna do is, she's in a meeting right now because she does work from home, is I'm gonna grab the rice and sugar that she refilled, put the canisters back up on top with her excess, and then we'll make like a breakfast area, a snack area, um, a canned food, food area, that kind of thing. And now look, like, look at all this open room. This is amazing. So I think I'm gonna go ask her what she wants on bottom, like what's used most often, and that's gonna help us decide where everything goes. I'm a little obsessed with these shelves. Other than this drywall anchor situation, these are sturdy. And I got 50 pound drywall anchors, so these can hold a lot. The plan is to utilize this drawer or cabinet for breakfast. The kids can help themselves. It's low enough for all of them. They can see everything. So obviously we need to pull out all the bars here. And Lauren did have a good idea with the baskets. They're just, they're all different. So they don't fit in here cohesively and it still feels a little jumbled. This means there's too much cereal. I'm at the canned goods here at the bottom. <laughs> I have these two wire shelves and one of these bins thinking that I would have like excess condiments that I can put in here and shove underneath kind of like a drawer. So I'm thinking just excess ketchups and dressings can go in here and go underneath and because the ones that they're using right now are obviously in the refrigerator. Got some barbecue sauce, which is amazing. I love barbecue sauce. Oh, she's got a lot of barbecue. Stubbs is the best. The best, it's so good. I am not gonna be able to fit all of these. A lot of barbecues. <laughs> That's how I like to live my life also. Maybe we can keep the glass jars out. These are glass. And there are two Cholulas which I approve of. So this can go under. Now we're gonna kind of come in and figure out um, these shelves. I got these from Costco. Um, and in this pantry, I'm using them this uh, long way so we can access what is in the back. Uh, Cause I think that's the downfall of this pantry is that it's so uh, deep that you just lose everything. I have all these homemade jams and then those shorter ones fit under. So let's just do that. Okay, I think I'm gonna add the next shelf and kind of put like items together. So like evaporated milk, corn, that kind of thing. Bad news. This is not big enough to hold her step stool because her step stool is so big. So I cannot put this one on, it's not gonna work. So I'm just leaning it against the wall. I think we are about done. This is lovely. What? Look at all these tomatoes. 
Didn't know you had all those, did you? Well, I knew I had a lot, but... And then the very, very bottom, you have the air fryer, your potatoes that look a little... Oh, um, they're growing. Yeah, they're growing. <laughs> and excess condiments. I like condiments. Need barbecue sauce? There. Next shelf up is most of the canned goods separated out by type and a basket of seasonings. Have you guys seen my bin of seasonings? <laughs> Have you seen my I, bin of seasonings? I didn't show them the whole bin. No. Hold on. Hold I just on. put it in the bin. I'm very one. proud of this. <laughs> it's, well, you got to use some of it. I do use, you do it, use like, it like all the time. It's like, it's impressive. Yeah. There's some, there's some good stuff in there. Yeah. Coming up one level, we have the breakfast shelf. Cereal, oatmeal, there's a little basket of hot chocolate, excess cereal and pancakes, and then all the syrups are down this aisle. You don't need to buy any more cereal. I know, I had a good deal. <laughs> Up one more, we have basically snacks and baking supplies, like special sweets. So these are all protein bars and nuts. This whole bin is like little individual snack type of things. As you can see, there's extra space. Here are some homemade treats that were on the counter that I just, there's room, so we put them in here. Chocolate chips. If anyone ever wants to make a cookie, we're covered. One more up, all of the diced tomatoes, all of the pasta sauce. This is all the jambalaya mix and rice. Emergency mac and cheese, and this whole bin is uh, boxes of pasta. My favorite part was the jambalaya mix. Right? If you have a flair for Cajun food, Cajun crate, you can order all this stuff. So like, it really makes me feel like I'm home. Yeah. And then up top, we have our flours, sugars, bulk rice, and then excess, like refill stuff back behind that we don't access very often. Over here on the left, we have those black shelves. Top one is snacks. Next one down is baking. And then this is all like breakfast, pancake, muffin kind of thing. All right, what do you think? I didn't realize I had this much space in here. It's organized and clean and efficient. I didn't realize you had this much space in here. It's amazing. It is. These are awesome. These are way cool. So, you know what's funny about this is I wouldn't have done it this way. Oh, really? I would have put like the grab and go snacks for the kids right here thinking as they like come home from school and run to their next activity, they're like, grab, grab, grab. But okay. I, this makes total sense too. Oh, gotcha. I figured these take up a lot of room and the way they were stacked, you couldn't see any of them. Yeah, no, this to totally makes sense. And you and got your grab and go. Here's your, here's your grab and go drawer. Wow! Did you know you had that many tomatoes? Well, here's the thing. There was a bunch of clearance tomatoes at Fred Meyer. I saw that. Like last weekend, and I'm like, yep. Yep. <laughs> I've been known to do that. Yeah, and it, it was a good price for organic tomatoes. Who's to say? Oh, organic. <laughs> Okay, thanks for joining us on this extreme pantry makeover. Thank you, Lauren, for hanging out today. You're welcome. See you in the next video. Bye. Bye. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Goodbye now. Here's the thing that you have to do later is make labels. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, you need to do that. For Here's so, how I'll make labels. Pasta. I'll take out a, a Sharpie and like sort of write it down. It just feels like my style also. <laughs> Mom is a label maker. I'll put, she's so far away. <laughs> and you know what's gonna happen when I go over to Mom's house, she's gonna be like, I need you to move these boxes from upstairs to downstairs, and then downstairs and then to downstairs. upstairs. <laughs> I'm not gonna have time to make labels. That's the truth. <laughs> if that's not the most true thing anyone has ever said on planet Earth ever in the history of ever. And, and you know what the excuse is? <laughs> And you know what her excuse is? You've got muscles. I need you to do it. That's her excuse? Uh-huh. Mom, if wow. you're watching this, I don't... That was Christine that made me say that. Mom doesn't watch my videos. Oh, okay. Then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> I can't make it through the door. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're like a rock. I know. <laughs> Two people really cannot fit in here very well. <clears throat> Ow. <laughs> I haven't even flared yet. <laughs>